I have never had so many of you send me a makeup brand to try as I have this flower nose brand, which I'm assuming means that you guys are being bombarded by ads for this stuff, but I got you. Today we're gonna be testing it all out to see if it's legit, and if so, if it's worth the price. In a world where most makeup brands are going very minimalistic with their packaging and branding, Flower Nose is doing the most. So here's their Instagram, and all of their packaging is this very like ornate, girly, twirly, gaudy, intricate designs. And most of the packaging is either gold or like iridescent. This is also one of the most legit Instagram pages I think we have seen on this channel. A lot of brands on Instagram are so shady looking, but this brand has almost 1 million followers and their engagement on their posts is actually really good. So taking that as a good sign. So I pulled up the website and I immediately panicked because the first thing that I saw was $699. <laughs> like, is this stuff made of real gold? But then I realized that's like a huge bundle. It comes with like 25 items and this big collectible storage case thing, which I'm gonna be honest, as I flipped through the product images and videos for this bundle, the marketing really sold me more and more. They went for like an 80s dark fantasy vibe and it is working. It's making me feel like I can finally live out all of my childhood princess fantasies. So as you can see, I went ahead and got all of it. <laughs> and if you're wondering why there's so much, it's because half of it is for you guys. I'll tell you how you can enter to get it later in the video. Look at this case. It's honestly just as nice as I was hoping it would be. It's not like leather, I think it's just plastic, but it has this nice embossed pattern, the rose gold detail. By the way, this case you can only get if you get that $699 set. I also opted for the set that doesn't come with the perfume because that saved me a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> okay, I panicked when all of this stuff first came because I opened the box and it was just like random makeup. There was no case or anything. I really fully thought I got scammed. But then over the next couple days, two more boxes showed up. It, it just had to come in pieces and it came from China. I'm assuming this is a Chinese brand. Shipping was free, which I appreciate. Oh my gosh, this is so much stuff. I feel like I literally just bought like a whole Sephora display right now. This is so I already did my foundation and my lashes because I think that's the only thing that we don't have in this collection here But everything else we're gonna be testing out and making a look with. Let's start with this Dewy hydrating primer. I'm so excited for you to see all of the packaging of this stuff I just hope like the actual products of the formulas match up to the packaging quality. Okay, here it is Beautiful primer you've ever seen look at the top of it And even the jar itself has this fun kind of crystal like design <gasps> Amazing exactly as a dewy primer. Oh What? Okay, here it is. It's like a gel Almost like a creamy Vaseline texture. Wait, I like it. I've been using Benefit Pore Professional for like a long time and that's definitely more of like a clay, almost waxy feel to it, which I like because it fills in your pores. But I'm gonna be honest, it's not the most hydrating, dewy, and I'm a dry person. So I am excited to see this and see if it can give me more of a glowy, moisturized looking finish. For now, like I said, I already have foundation on, so I'm just gonna put it on my eyes though and get that prepped or some other products we have coming up. Honestly, it feels really nice. I'm just curious to see how the makeup sits on it now. By the way, this case of stuff is not even a fraction of the products that they have on their website. Like I said, I think this is just this entire collection. Okay, let's open these up next. So these are blush brushes. Oh, it's a lot like smaller than I thought it would be. <gasps> it's cool though. The handle of it is like clear. Got the little rose gold detailing. Oh, and the brush feels nice. Dark one. I feel like I'll use this one for bronzer. Ooh, this one has like a black clear base and then that same rose gold top. I'm curious by the end of this if you guys feel like I got my money's worth or not. <laughs> so far the quality is pretty on par with like all the typical brands that you see at Ulta or even Sephora. The price is also on par with a lot of those brands. So I wouldn't say it's cheap by any means, but I'm really glad they didn't like super mark it up because of how intricate the packaging is. Another thing that you only get if you get this whole collectible case. <laughs> oh my gosh. The pedestal cup. <gasps> It has this like iridescent shine to it. This is so cool. Honestly, I feel like it will make four. The perfect brush holder. That's so cool. And speaking of brushes, it also came with a whole bunch 
of these little poofs for uh, like powders and stuff, I'm assuming. Oh my gosh. Wait, these are actually so nice. And then they have this little elastic on the back for your finger. Ah. I'm actually really excited about these. They feel like a marshmallow. Love it. Okay, next makeup product. Let's check out all of these cream blushes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> For some reason when I bought this, I didn't realize it was coming with this much stuff. So I'm pleasantly surprised. Let me hurry and take all of these out. I'm sorry. Look at this. First shade, Floral Praise. Just a nice pinky. Oh wow, it is creamy, not powdery. This one is a fingertip stellar <laughs> kind of a different name but a pretty color kind of more of a bronzy flaming heart kind of similar paradise poet in this beautiful blue packaging Ooh, kind of a like an orangey pink and this cool black one rose ashes it's Oh, that one's pretty. Kind of just a neutral. I think I'm gonna do this one. My blush brush. I'm not gonna lie, I'm always terrified to do blush on camera, especially brand new ones, because it's hard to know exactly how much to do. Oh, I feel so bad messing up the design. Oh, there goes her face. It's creamy. I like it. I've always been a powder blush girl, but I don't know. This might convert me to cream blush, because that is pretty. Wow, it definitely has like a shimmery sheen to it. It definitely goes on way lighter than it looks in the pan. So far, so good. Gosh, I feel like I have to get rid of all of my other makeup now because it's just not gonna live up to the aesthetics of this stuff. As if this wasn't shimmery and shiny enough already, we've got highlighters, two of them. The first one, Chanting Anthem, I think is what this is called. Oh, wow, like a pearly white. This also looks like it's a cream texture. And this one is called Moon River. Every time. I'm just amazed every time. <laughs> okay, and the color of this one. Are these literally any different? <laughs> I actually think Moon River might be a little bit more white. And for that reason, I'm scared of it. <laughs> so we're gonna go with Chanting Anthem. Okay, over on my main channel, Hope Scope, you might have seen my TikTok shop video and I bought these brushes. And I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to break them in beautiful brushes for some beautiful makeup. All right, highlight. Oh wait, this is definitely a powder, not a cream. It just has a similar um, embossed pattern. Okay, brush not working. Finger, yeah, that's going on much better. It's bright, <laughs> you don't need a lot of it. I feel like this whole pan could last me the rest of my life because you really just need like one swatch. It's a lot more shimmer than I normally do, but I like it. Okay, and then next to it, I think this is just a pressed powder. Let's see, we have Paradise Lost. Oh, the colors of that one are so fun. It's, oh no, it's another highlight, but that one's kind of more like a bronzy one. Sorry if this is all over the place. The packaging's just hard to read because <laughs> there's a lot of Chinese everywhere. And then what it is, it's written in pretty small font in English. <laughs> okay, this one's called Fable Something. Ta-da. Ooh, kind of in between all of them. <laughs> Okay, those are pretty. Oh, look how pretty this is looking. <laughs> okay, next, we're gonna open up this bottom drawer because in the back here, we have our next product. These are some hand mirrors. This is one of the first products that caught my eye about this brand. Oh my goodness. Tell me this mirror isn't all of our childhood princess mirror fantasies come true. That is so fun. And then if you peel this off, the mirror's back here. Cute, all right, mirror number one. Mirror number two, ooh, this one's fun. It's like black swan vibes, love that. Okay, and mirror number three. Oh, cute. Just kind of pink and rose gold all the way around. Oh, those are so fun. Okay, next, this might be what I'm most excited about. Eyeshadow palettes, we've got two of them here. Let's check this one out first. This one's called Eden's Angel. Look at this thing. We've just got some nice neutrals with some dark blue, dark green. I like it. Other one, Weeping Angel is what this is called. Oh my goodness, the black and the rose gold. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wow. We've got some color in this one. I think this is the one I wanna play with. This is cool. But are these colors as functional as they are beautiful? <laughs> I'm gonna start with this light pink base. What do I do next? I'm not gonna lie, don't experiment with colorful eyeshadow very often. This is from their Instagram and I think I'm gonna try to go for something like that. Like a blue, purple, shimmery. So if that's the case, maybe I start with lavender. 
Okay, so far I'm liking this. Sometimes when makeup is too pigmented, it's just not easy to use for somebody like me that's not experienced. <laughs> so this is like right in the middle, right where it's supposed to be. I'm gonna do this light blue next. I think we've got a good base now. <gasps> it's time for the darker colors, scary. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, it's an intimidating palette, but I'm gonna be honest, it really is so easy to use. Oh, the colors are just blending effortlessly. I honestly wasn't expecting for this to be such a positive review. I promise it's not sponsored. I bought all of this on my own. Like I said, most Instagram brands are just so bad, <laughs> but I think we finally found a good one. Okay, now we're gonna do some of this dark sparkly blue. Okay, this color might be my least favorite. It's not giving me the amount of shimmer I was looking for. Here's the final eyeshadow look. Not bad for an amateur. <laughs> We've got one more step, the lips. So this comes with all of these lipsticks. Wow, okay, let me open these up real quick. Okay, here they all are. I love these pink and white ones. They're so fun. Okay, I'm not gonna bore you with all of the color names, but here are all the shades. The black ones on the end here are all like brown. Pink in the middle are of course more pink toned. And then the white ones on the end are like neutral. Which one do I wanna do? I'm thinking the second one, which is Fantasia. It's a lot more like coral than I thought it would be. Ooh, it feels nice though. Wow, very buttery. I like it. Okay, it was maybe an interesting choice with the blue eyeshadow, but I'm gonna be honest though, I'm not much of like a matte lip girly. I like my glosses and my oils. So we also have hydrating repair lip masks. Let's see if these are any different. I don't think they have names. This one, yeah, they've gotta be exactly the same. Cute packaging though. Dab it on, try not to mess up my lipstick. That's nice. I like it. The last thing that comes with this little kit, once again, you can only get these if you get the kit. Are these little hair clips? Pretty cute. And I think that's everything. What do you think? Was it worth $699? <laughs> Honestly, I really liked it. Like most high-end makeup, you can always get very similar makeup, similar colors, textures for much less expensive, but it's fun. The packaging's fun. The vibes are fun. I like it. And as promised, I got you some stuff. I've got two different vibes for you. This one is like very pink, light ballet vibes. And the other one, black swan vibes. So if you are interested in getting one of these kits full of this fun flower nose makeup, um, go to my Instagram at Hopescope and look for this post and let me know which kit you want and I'll pick a couple winners. Make sure to check out some of my other fun makeup reviews that I've done and I will see you guys in the next video.